Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. I'm Shamea and for today, I'm going to test a foundation. It's a drugstore foundation na nire-rave ng maraming beauty gurus. And dahil ko itong nakita, so na, na nagkaroon ako ng interest, I'm very curious about this foundation and I'm very excited to test this foundation. So this is the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation in um, Soft Beige. Kita nyo ba? So, wala kasi nito dito sa Philippines. So, I bought this from Star Main Shop in Shopee. And, good thing na lang talaga, we have online shops here. Meron na tayong mga um, online shops na nagsisell ng mga products na hindi available here in the Philippines. And, um, itong Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, maraming nag-rave dito. Um, including Kathleen Lights, um, Marami mga YouTubers like Casey Holmes and yung mga nagte-test nito talagang um, sabi nila this is a dupe of the high-end foundations. Um pwede mo raw siya i-compare sa high-end foundations and this only retails for 500 pesos, 525 pesos and it's really cheap it's really affordable, lalo na sa mga um, kutulat ko ng mga girls na ayoko naman na laging nag-wear ng high-end foundation, sobrang mahal and for everyday use naman, bakit mag bibili ka pa ng mahal, di ba? Why will you wear um, something na sobrang mahal kung everyday use naman? So, kung meron naman tatapat sa high-end foundation na na cheap lang worth 500 pesos na foundation. Oh my god, why not, ba? So I will test this foundation. This is my first time ever to test this foundation. So before we start, babasahin ko muna lahat ng mga claims uh, about this foundation. So this is the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Uh, I bought the shade Soft Beige. Uh, this is light, medium, warm undertone. So I hope tama yung I hope tama yung ano yung shade na pinili ko. Kasi yun lang mahira pag online shop eh. online shopping eh. Sure, talagang ano eh um uhulaan mo lang ko ano yung shade ng ng foundation mo. But let's see kung okay ba. Alright. So sabi dito um. Goodbye photo flashback. Helps eliminate white particle reflection. So, tested under 7 light conditions with top smartphone models with and without flash. So, ito yung kiniklaim ng foundation na to na wala siyang flashback. So, kapag ka nag-take ka ng picture with flash or without flash, hindi makikita yung yung mga powder mo sa mukha na dumikit sa skin mo so sabi photo focus foundation smooth uh, walang flashback daw ever okay so excited na rin ako sa coverage i hope okay yung coverage ng foundation ito so what i will do is i will uh, wear the foundation or put the foundation Dito sa side ng face ko with a uh, Real Techniques sponge and the other one with a flat foundation brush from this is from Makeup by Tony so thank you um, Tony for giving me this uh, brush so I will test the foundation now okay foundation comes uh, in a bottle. So na na natuwa nga ako actually sa 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 packaging niya eh. kasi for its price, it really looks classy, no? Uh, bottle siya, hindi siya gawa sa plastic. And let's see kung paano ba to. Oh, so iniikot siya. And sa loob, ayun, spatula. Okay din. Actually, yun na natin ha. I'm going to put product sa back of my hand. So, you will see kung yun 
yung consistency niya is It's actually a bit liquidy. Ayan. Tumutulo siya eh. Pero hindi, hindi naman siya sobrang liquidy na talagang tutulo siya ng tuloy-tuloy. But it's still, yeah, liquidy. Okay. I'm going to get uh, the product from my hand. Actually, gusto ko yung hindi siya mabigat sa face lightweight siya hindi siya yung parang pag nilagay mo, alam mo na agad na okay, may foundation ako hindi siya ganun surprisingly and parang tama naman yung shade sa, na nakuha ko in fairness thank you lord tama yung shade na nakuha ko so it's lightweight. It's easily blendable. Madali siyang i-blend. Okay, para mas gusto ko na i-apply siya na directly sa face ko. Kesa kinukuha ko sa likod ng kamay ko. Actually, may salamin pala ako dito. Ah. Ang hirap mag-makeup na nakatingin lang sa camera. Okay. I actually like it. Kailangan lang... Mabilis mo siyang i-blend sa skin mo kasi kapag ka medyo pinatagal mo, mabilis siyang matuyo eh. And may tendency siya na magsi-stay siya doon sa balat mo. Magsi-stay siya, magsi-stick siya doon sa balat mo na matagal mo binlend. So dapat lang mabilis ka mag-blend. Actually, it's first application. It's medium coverage. It's medium coverage for the first application. I think... I think I'm gonna put another layer. Second layer. Okay. By the way, guys, hindi pala ako nag-primer, ha? I did not put any primer... Um, nag-hugas, nag-wash nag lang ako ng face ko uh, using this The Beauty Bakery Witch Hazel and Tea Tree Gentle Facial Wash. Uh, galing to kay Shama. Binigay niya sa akin. Um, just so you know, I have dry combination skin. And after I after I give birth to Gen 3, napansin ko na yung skin ko naging dry and flaky. And nagkaroon ng bumps. No? Sabi kasi nila, merong hormonal changes. Sabi nila, kapag kabuntis ka, um, talagang fluctuating ang iyong hormones. And naapektuhan yung skin natin. So, nung nanganak ako, napansin ko talaga yun. Siyempre, uh, nag-start sleepless nights. Isa pa yun, puyat. Nakaka-damage ng skin natin yun. Nakaka-dehydrate ng skin natin yun. Nakaka- my skin look dull, dry, flaky. So, actually, combination skin type ako eh. Pag sinabing combination skin type kasi, oily ka sa T-zone, oily ka sa T-zone, and then dry ka on the sides of your face. After I gave birth, napansin ko, naging dry na lang siya, hindi na combination, na wala na yung oil, na strip off yung oil ko sa face, and then may mga bumps ako sa skin, uneven skin tone, um, and that is the challenge for mothers like me, 
pero it's okay dahil ang kapalit naman is a very beautiful baby so I'm blessed to have her okay so uh, bakit ba ako napunta doon? Kasi, dahil sa skin type ko. So, I have dry combination skin. So, for this foundation, actually, ang finish na is a bit matte. And, pag hinawakan ko siya, it feels a bit tacky. No? Tacky. Medyo dumidikit konti sa, sa skin ko. Pero, let's see. Kasi, baka pag nag-set na siya sa, sa face ko, umokay din eh. Baka mawala din yung tackiness. So, let's see what will happen. Okay, I'll continue um, putting the foundation. Nag-second layer na ba ako, guys? Nakalimutan ko na. Isa pa yun sa dala ng cesarean section. Nagiging makakalimutin ka. Minsan, minsan talaga nalimutan ko paakyat ako na hagdanan. Kung paakyat ba ako, pababa. Ganun ka, lala, ang pagiging makakalibutin ko ngayon. And I hope na hindi naman magtuloy-tuloy. Okay. I'm going to put just a little bit. And remember guys, kapag naglalagay kayo ng foundation using a sponge, huwag nyo siyang isiswipe. Don't swipe it. Kasi magmove yung foundation mo. Hindi siya, mag, hindi siya madaling ma-blend. Magmove siya eh kapag iniswipe mo na ganun. So dapat, ganito lang. Pat-pat lang. Okay? Para mas madaling mas madaling ma-absorb ng skin natin yan foundation. It will look more natural. Okay. So, see the difference? In fairness, maganda yung finish niya sa camera. In fairness, I like it, ah. Ayun, no? Smooth. Smooth siya tignan. And, lightweight siya. Hindi talaga siya mabigat sa feeling na parang, oh my god, I'm wearing a foundation. Gusto ko na maghilamos agad. Hindi. Okay siya sa balat. Okay. Let's now proceed to the other side of my face. I'm going to apply it using this flat foundation brush. Yun muna. Kasi mabilis siyang... Actually, mas gusto ko ang sponge application. Kasi, parang the brush, ano, absorbs the product. Konti lang yung nalalagay sa skin ko. Unlike dito sa sponge na parang pak. Ito na siya. See the difference? Diba? Ito parang mas fuller coverage than this one. Ito, sa bagay kasi nga naman, second layer, di ba? Two layers pala to. So, let's try kung two layers to, kung magiging parehas pa sila ng coverage. Saan pa ako nakatingin? Lagi ako dito nakatingin. Tapat pala dito. Hi, guys. Ayan.
Oops. Gosh. Bitik nang tumulo sa kama. <clears throat> Ipansin ko lang sa foundation na to. Actually, okay siya. Gusto ko siya. But if you have dry skin like me, it clings to some of my dry patches. It clings some... So, dapat talagang mag-moisturizer ka before you put this foundation. Which I did not do very good sa Maya. Dapat nag-moisturize pala muna ako. No? So, this is the first application. See the difference? Okay. I'm going to put another layer of foundation just to see if maging katulad nito finish ng using the sponge. So far, so good. <clears throat> Ano ba guys? Last week, sinipon ako. And sobrang hirap pala mag-alaga ng anak kapag may sakit ka. So, to all moms, no, kailangan natin alagaan yung health natin. Kasi, di ba, nakakaparanoid yung may sipon ka, inaalagaan mo yung anak mo, feeling mo mahahawa mo siya. So, ang hirap. So, kailangan natin talagang minum ng vitamins. <clears throat> Buti na lang uh, uminom ako ngayon ng Biomega from Yusana. I bought it from Tita Jesver and Tita Sid. Hello po. Yun. So, kung gusto nyo umorder ng Yusana products from them, order kay sa kanila. Sobrang high quality ng vitamins na yun. Nakatulong talaga yun while I was pregnant. Um, I, uh, talaga religiously, I take Biomega. And hindi talaga ako nagkasakit habang buntis ako. So, thank you, Lord. Okay. Habang nakatingin ako sa salamin, sa camera, I don't know if you can see. Yan. Mas, mas, ano, mas, 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 mas may coverage. Bayan, puro ako mas. Mas may coverage yung sponge part. Itong side na to na inapplyan ko ng, na ginamit ko yung sponge as applicator. And this one, Okay din naman siya, pero mas full coverage itong side na to. Okay? So, I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. And then, I'll check on you. After, siguro, basta tatry ko na hanggang gabi talaga na i-wear tong foundation na to. Uh, it's now, anong time na ba? Kasi I'm filming using my phone eh. Hindi ko, hindi ko makita. I think it's already 2 p.m. And I'll check on you later. Tina natin kung how this foundation um, will last on my face. Kung magkikake ba siya, kung magsisit ba siya sa mga fine lines ko, kung sa laugh lines ko, and kung ma-accentuate ba niya yung mga dry patches ko sa face. And, gusto kasi natin sa foundation is yung maka-cover niya eh. Yung, yung hindi siya easily magsisit sa lines natin. 
And, yung bang, mas matagal kang mag-oil up. Yun yung gusto natin sa foundation. So, I hope this will last me the whole day. Okay? So, I'm going to test this with flash photography later. Papakita ko din sa inyo. I'm going to finish the rest of my face muna. I'm not going to set this with powder because it will do the trick eh. So, I will not use any product that will help the foundation stay on my face. Just to see kung talagang ano yung um, ano yung performance ng foundation na to. Okay? So, see you later. Hi everyone! I'm done with the rest of my makeup. So, this is my look. Nakakatawa, no? Kasi dito lang ako sa bahay, tapos glam makeup ako. Uh, this is just a peachy, um, warm makeup. So, um, I'm going to test out this foundation, how it will perform all throughout the day. It's already 2 p.m. And at 11 p.m., I'll check it out again, and I'll get back to you guys. Let's see kung magsisettle ba siya sa wrinkles ko, sa fine lines ko, as the laugh lines ko. Uh, or magikling siya sa mga dry patches ko. Let's see how this foundation will perform all throughout the day. But then, uh, just a quick trivia. There are foundations. Mayro plano. <laughs> Ingay niya. Okay, there are foundations na kapag ka sa unang application, ayaw mo siya. Parang, uh, okay, not so much kasi sa unang application, flaky siya, nakikling siya sa mga dry patches mo. But then, kapag lumabas ka, naarawan ka, pinawisan ka, nag-oil up ka, at nag-come in contact yung oil mo with the foundation, nag-blend siya, mas maganda yung finish. May mga ganong klaseng foundation na talagang um, maganda yung, yung, yung blend niya, yung mix niya with your oil facial oil. So, let's see if ganun din tong classing foundation. And if that will happen, ay masasabi ko talaga na totoo nga na uh, katulad siya ng mga high-end foundations. Kasi the texture, uh, the consistency, lightweight din siya. Actually, it's a holy grail. So, if ever mag mangyari to na maganda yung blend niya sa oil ng face ko, I will really recommend this. Okay, so I'll get back to you after a few hours. Let's see how this foundation will go. In fairness, good day foundation. Para sa price niya, for its price, it's really worth it. And, nakaka-level siya dun sa mga, sa mga, yun, yeah, sa high-end foundation. Yung sa Estee Lauder ko, na isa, parang parehas na sila actually. In fairness, okay, time check it's already eleven PM, and ito na po ang aking foundation. I'm not sure if you can see on uh, video kasi the quality is not that good. Pero, um, yeah. Nag-oil up ako kasi nagluto ako eh. Nagbito, nag-alaga kay Gentry, lahat. So, talagang um, hindi may iwasan talaga na mag-oil up kasi lalo na kanina sok talagang nasa mukha ko talagang nag-open up lahat ng pores ko so eto nag-oil up ako dito sa iso and uh, i must say na okay naman yung foundation kasi 
thinking na grabe yung ginawa ko today. And, unlike kung nasa office ka lang, nakaupo ka lang, ako kasi talaga, halos parang nag-workout na ako. So, talaga nag-oil up yung face ko. And, ang okay naman sa foundation nito kasi, um, hindi naman siya, hindi siya nag-cake. It did not cake. Uh, napansin ko lang, nag-sit lang siya on my uh, laugh lines sa aking mga ito, sa aking mga lines, nag-sit siya. Pero, uh, overall, I will give this product a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Kasi, um, okay naman siya. And, it really did work. Hindi lang ako nakapag-flash photography, guys. Kasi, super busy talaga ako today. As in, wala talaga akong time for for that. Kaya, ito, itatry kong i-blot yung face ko using a tissue. Tina natin ko mag-transfer yung product dito. Sinisipon pa rin talaga ako. Actually, may konting product na hindi ko alam talaga kung kita nyo kasi nag-wash out yung color sa video. Ayan, may konting product na nagka-transfer pero hindi naman sobrang dami. So, okay pa rin yan para sa akin. And, ayun, so, konting touch-up lang. Kung mag-oil up kayo sa foundation na to, kuha na kayo ng blotting tissue and then blot nyo lang yung face ninyo ayan, babalik na ulit siya sa parang may pagka-mat finish though hindi naman siya talaga totally matte, parang in between dewy and matte siya so, yun okay naman so, um ano pong masasabi ko? nagmamadali na eh, no? kasi gabi na at saka tulog na si Jenky so I recommend this product Uh, you must try it out. You can search online, Shopee, or Lazada. Um, check if sino yung nagbibenta ng Wet n Wild. But for me, ako, I ordered it from Sarmaid Shop at Shopee. So, you can check them out. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. I hope nakatulong sa inyo yung wear test and review ko sa Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And See you on my next video. Thank you. Good night.